Hey everyone, welcome to Average Joe Preparedness. My name's Rick, and I'm an Average Joe. In today's video, the two main things we're going to cover are I owe you a camper's, the food tests. I started off with some emergency foods, the bars, and then I went to some MREs, and then I'm gonna go to some the dehydrated ones. So I'm gonna show you how to make one, they're easy, and I'm gonna do a taste test. Yes, so that's one, I owe you that video. The other thing is, while this is heating, because it takes a couple minutes, you know, blah, 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 I'll read the instructions in a second, is we are gonna go over, I kept this around for a long time, and these are these little prepper emergency kits that you can get, usually they're not that expensive, and I've also noticed, and I'll show you, that some of the stuff on the inside you can actually get. It'll be like, oh, this emergency tool is free and all you do is pay shipping and handling. And I'm going to show you just how bad these things are. And yeah, these things are terrible. Now this kit, again, I'll, I'll get into details of how I got it and why I kept it around to eventually show you guys. I've had it for a really long time. But... Uh, Two things. One is I was watching some other creators and someone was showing things that are like ripoffs, things you shouldn't get. And it reminded me. So I went and I dug this out and I was like, hey, Rick, you got one of those. You should. You've been meaning to do the video. I've been meaning to do the video to show you guys this. And the reason being is there's a few things in this world that I just really don't like. And one of them is people ripping people off. That's just, I don't understand why people do it. I can't understand the mentality. If you guys have got it figured out let me know comment section but i don't get it i don't understand why you have to rip off your fellow humans you see what i mean i don't know what you get from it and it again it makes me upset so i figured i'd show you guys and hopefully i can keep you guys from falling into the trap that other people do and again i didn't fall into the trap and i'll explain how i got this but uh yeah no ripping off especially for an emergency why would you want to do that Okay, I got water boiling, and I'm going to go grab it and bring it here. I'm going to take you guys. I'm going to put you down on the bench. I don't know if you guys like that or not, that different angle. But I want to show you how to do the dehydrated food. We're going to call this a camping food. Yes. And uh, again, I've done the emergency bars. I've done the MREs. I said I was going to get into different stuff. This is like the next one easiest. We'll call it simplest because there's other ones you got to boil the stuff for like 20 minutes. These you don't. And uh, just to give you guys an idea, I promised you, and I'm doing Yes? Right, I'm, I'm going to see you guys down here. Okay, so let's take a peek at the dehydrated foods that I have here. This is the one I'm going to eat today. It is uh, noodles and chicken. These are, uh, and I have some other ones here, these are Mountain House. Now, of the dehydrated foods that you just add water to, uh, hot water is what it calls for, boiling water, actually. These are the ones I like the best. Now, I've tried different ones. If anybody's got a a new one maybe that came out or maybe they've changed the way they do things or, or one that you guys have had and you're like no this one's better than mountain house go ahead and put it down there i don't get nothing from these guys you guys should know that by now nothing i get nothing from nothing this is just me hanging out and trying to keep you guys from getting ripped off on certain things and give you guys ideas so i'm gonna there's different ones there's chicken noodles this is beef stew we've got sweet and sour pork and we've got granola with milk and blueberries. Now, real quick, although the instructions say that you should add boiling water to it, I can tell you on a few of these, I've actually tried them, and I've actually had to put cold water in, and I've eaten it. It's not as much fun, but it can be done. Now, if you watch my video for the MRE, I guess I'll put it up like right there somewhere. And uh, if you guys remember these, these come in, the, I don't know how loud, is that loud for you guys? Anyways, these are little kits, that uh, utensil kits that come with MREs. And I told you I might not use all this stuff, but I save it. And even if I don't use the contents themselves, I save them. And here's the reason why is because it has seasonings. There's usually pepper and salt. If you guys want to try some of those, add it to these meals, you can. Or I think there's some red peppers in some also. But today what we're going to use is the spoon. Yes? I love these spoons, guys. Seriously. So, anyways, one of the reasons why I don't throw these things away. Okay, let's go over the instructions real fast while well, my water's boiling so we can get this done. And it says to prepare. I'm going to be reading. Sorry, guys. It says open package at tear. Right there. It's pre. It's got the little pre 
tears on them. Carefully add two cups boiling water. As I said, I've done it with waters that aren't boiling. I've done it with actually cold water. You just let it sit a longer time and you can still eat it. It's still food. Uh, stir carefully and close the zipper, optional. After four minutes, stir it again. I usually do and I probably will. Let's stand eight to nine minutes, stir and enjoy right out of the pack, pouch. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. And again, noodles and chicken, we'll see how it goes. Yes? Okay, so two cups boiling water. Not boiling anymore, but was boiling. Let's go ahead and bust into this. What do you say? Open this up, and I hope, I always hope everything happens right when I'm doing this. And again, people say, Rick, edit your videos, practice. No, nope, not the way of it, guys. You're getting it this way. Yes? Open it up. Now it says, I don't remember if I saw it, where it says, ah, there you go. Remove and discard oxygen absorber. It also says that if you don't, it's no big deal. You can get it out later. That's what these things are. We're going to go ahead and remove it. Yes? I'm going to add our... You just want to see what that looks like. Yep, dehydrated. Or, excuse me. Uh, pour this in here. Two cups. All right. Stands up. Nice. Now, admittedly, I usually don't put... Let me get that spoon out of there. Get rid of this crinkling noise before I talk to you again. Stay. Admittedly, I usually don't put the amount it says in there because I like my stuff a little thicker. And also, I'm going to eat this myself. Now, this package says this is two and a half servings, and that's usually done by the calories and blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm talking about. But when you're hungry, one of these does me. I use them. But in for you, it says it's two and a half, uh, excuse me, servings. That's what it is. Two and a half servings. I usually don't put this much water in. Stir up. Usually don't because uh, I like my stuff thicker. But to each his own. Yes? I'm doing it kind of by the instructions right now so you guys can see what you're going to get when you do it that way. Okay, we close it up, and optionally, we're going to wait four minutes, and then we're going to stir that again. Yes? Now, while we're waiting for this, our four minutes before we stir it, I'm going to get into this. I'm trying to double up these videos. Okie dokie. This is uncomfortable, but I'm going to do it so you guys can see. So, story on this real fast is I ordered something, and I can't remember what it is, that turned out not to be a ripoff. I actually enjoyed it. And this came with, it was one of those specials. If you order this, you'll get this too. But I've seen these advertised. These are these like little emergency kits that's got like nine tools or 25 multi-tools or whatever. You guys can find them on the internet. And I kept it, it personally, I hate this thing and I'm gonna show you the stuff that's inside it. But I kept it as a lesson to myself, which again, luckily I didn't pay for it. Or in case of making these videos, I could do it for a lesson for others. I can't stand people that rip off other people and especially for something that's supposed to be for emergencies or prepping how can you have cheap stuff if people may actually be depending on it I mean cheap stuff anyways but cheap stuff when people depend on it are you serious mm -mm. all right so case I don't know I don't know how long these little clippy things are gonna last because you know when you open and close them eventually they just break so you know what I mean when they twist back and forth like that and eventually they snap off so, this is what it comes with. It comes with an emergency blanket. Now, I don't know how many emergency blankets you guys have actually looked at. Some of these are paper thin and they'll just tear and they're worthless. Other ones, I think it's like the, the mill specs is what it is. Some of them are thicker and you can actually, I mean, don't get me wrong, anything is better than something, but this one I can tell you by the way and stuff, we can open it up, but this is paper thin. But in this case, something is better than nothing. Yes, we'll put that right there. Get this other stuff out of the way. Next, this is supposed to be like an emergency whistle. Okay, what it reminds me of is back in the day, you put like 25 cents in a machine and you went like this and it had like a little bubble thing that you popped open and it had little toys in it. Yeah, that's what this reminds me of. Let's look at it a little closer. Yes, okay, it's like aluminum. It weighs nothing. I bet if I pulled on this, 
just like this. These things would just snap. They're nothing. But let's go ahead and blow it. An emergency. Help me. What the hell is that? You see what I'm saying? It's a it's a cheap little kid toy is what this is. So if you ever see something like this on the internet, it says it's free emergency whistle. Just pay shipping and handling or it comes in a kit. Yeah, blarky. Okay. Next. Oh, yeah. I really love this. These are, and I mean that sarcastically. They use these, they say these are like uh, defensive pens or combat pens or whatever. This thing, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how worthless this thing is. And I know for a fact, I just looked this up and I saw it on the internet where it says you can get one of these. And all you have to do is pay shipping and handling. Let's take a closer look. So I'm, what it is, is it's an aluminum pin. It's huge. I don't know where you're going to put this or carry it around because it's just huge. And then it's got this. It's like supposed to grip. You see what I'm saying? Like you'd be able to grip it. And then on the end, it's got this like pointy. Let's take it up there. Can you guys see that pointy thing? Ow, 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 ow. Now, either one of two things. You're supposed to use that to defend yourself. You know, like stab somebody with it or something. Or it's those ones where you break the glass. You know what I'm talking about? In an emergency, you can break uh, a window of the car or whatever. And yeah, I'm going to show you real fast. This can be used for, not, this is not a good tool. In my opinion, guys, everything, remember, everything here is my opinion. But let's look at the reality of it. Oh, by the way, it does, If you turn, it is actually a pin. Yeah. And yeah, it doesn't really write, but yay. So let's see how well this is as a tactical pin. I guess to defend yourself or an emergency thing. So, I mean, you could use this side, like the regular pen side, because it's metal, but this is way too thick. If you get like a regular pen that's made out of metal, you can actually like somebody with it. But on a normal pen, usually the back, when you're grabbing something, I hope you guys can see this, when you're grabbing it, you have to be able to hold on to it when you're stabbing something or hitting something, because otherwise, when you hit something, your hand just slides off. You see what I'm talking about? A lot of times what you can do is you put your thumb over this to hold it in place. Well, you can't. That thing is sharp as hell. You see what I'm saying? Now, let's go the other way with it. And I'm going to hold it this way and use the sharp pointy side. Look, you see what I'm saying? What's going to happen? My hand's going to slide off or I'm going to stab my thumb. This is this is ridiculous. Who Who did this? I have no idea. Again, my opinion, but this is ridiculous. Now, let's say you're going to use this to break a window or something. Okay, first off, you need to know where to hit a window. Because if you just hit it, it's not going to work. Even with the better tools, by the way. It's along the edge. That's where you hit it. But let's say I'm going to. Look. You, you see what I'm saying? I mean, my thumb. I can't hold this. I can't hit it hard enough. You guys with me? And all these little grippy things right here are going to do is tear the skin off my... And look, this. You see this? How am I supposed to do that? Makes no sense, guys. I think this, I think this is poo, okay? I think this is a ripoff. I think you're not getting, I think they're selling this in people's fear. Now, I told you, fear sells. And to me, that's what this is. This is fear being sold. If you have a different opinion, please keep it nice, if you would. I mean, I did call it poo. But keep it nice, put it in the comment section. But really, guys, somebody's life, maybe? You with me? This is, no. No, not at all. Right, what what's next what do we got we have a ferro rod with the little scrapey thing and i guess it's supposed to be cool because it's got like can you see it's got measurements on it and it's got oh it's got a bottle opener okay and uh, what is what is this like a little thing you guys can hear that i don't i don't know what the point of that stuff is and by the way right now the cord i mean it's too short to actually get to this but yeah it's supposed to be a ferro rod I don't know if I could break it or whatever, but uh, if I was to use it, I haven't used this, but uh, yeah, so I can't really comment on it. I guess I could probably take this. I'm going to untie this and we're going to see how well it sparks like right here. I've ne I haven't done it. So let's give it a shot. Yes. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay. So we're going to test this out live. All I did was pull. It had one of those slip knots. So I pulled. This is how long it is. You can actually get to it with this, but let's test it out real quick. Yes? Now normally, 
it has this, this coating on it, so I scrape off the coating a little bit. Let's see how this is on live TV. Yay, or video, sorry guys. Rick, you should edit your videos better, prep them or prepare them better for people. No, we're gonna just do this. So I'm gonna scrape that off, which is normally what I do with my ferro rod I do use. Let's see if we can get some sparks, real quick. What do you say? Whoa, oh, you see that? It actually worked. Hey, that's kind of cool. I'm not gonna use this as a primary, but I'll throw it off somewhere. See that? Honest, honest assessment right here on television. Video, I know, just playing. Anyways, maybe not a total PO piece of poop. We'll wait and see. I'll put some use into this and we'll find out. I'll get back to you. Okay, we'll set that aside. Okay, now I know other people have done these. I've, I've seen reviews of these and I totally agree with them that these are terrible. But this is one of those little cards that's supposed to be like the end all be all, you know, oh, if you got this, you can do all kinds of stuff. Look, it's got little, where you can use the nuts, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how you could put this actually on a nut and try turning it considering the edges are sharp, the edges are sharp, the edges are sharp, and this is, you see what I'm saying? How am I supposed to, oh wait, but it's got a bottle opener. Okay, great, who cares? This is supposed to be for like an emergency. Sharp edge there, sharp edge here, sharp edge here. This little saw is kind of... How am I supposed to use this? You you with me? I saw somebody else do it, and I was like, yeah. I mean, I agree. The first time I saw one of these, I was like, you're going to carry this in your wallet? And no. Now, if you disagree, say, look, it's got like instructions on what all the stuff is. If you disagree and, and you want to use this, then, I mean, that's your business, but I don't think this has any practical use. Yes? But, you know, uh, to each person their own when it comes to these things. Again, I don't think it has any practical use, and I'm just going to get rid of it now that I've done the review. That's the only reason I kept these things. So that's going with the whistle. This, this is I'm chucking this stuff when I'm done. We'll see how the emergency blanket is. Okay, and the pen's going to get chucked also. But, okay, now this is probably the one that just upset me the most. You ready? Look, it's a compass to save your life so you know where you are. Yes, it's a that's good, right? So in case I get lost in a what the hell or there's an emergency and I need to go through Hill and Dale, I've got a compass and it's going to save my life. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Let's take a look at this compass. Yes? Now, once again, everything's my opinion, guys, but I'm doing it right here in this case. I might keep the case until it totally breaks. And it looks like it already is a little plastic hinge once you get it back and forth can you hear that it's already starting to break but we'll see this will probably end up in the trash too let's take a look at this you guys ready so first off this is cheesy cheap stuff again it's like something you get out of a machine for 50 cents but uh, let's go ahead and try to figure out oh there we go we open it and can you guys see that it's got all the bubbles and stuff in there and this little thing turns and says what's north. Yes. Can't get the bubbles out of it. Can't get the bubbles to go to dead center. If I'm not mistaken, it's water, not oil. And uh, yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I don't think, you guys see that little needle bouncing back and forth? I don't think I want my life depending on this. Yes. Now again, this is just my opinion, but I don't know if you guys have actually used uh, 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 an actual, what the, is that coming off? I don't know, we'll wait and see. So I don't know if you guys have actually used a real compass, but this ain't it. This is, this is not a real compass. This is like a little toy or something you give kids to play with if they're playing like Army or G.I. Joe or something in the backyard. Does that make sense? You know, maybe get your, Oh my gosh, look at how it just bounces around. Okay, uh, this is going in the garbage. But, again, this is just my opinion. Oh, you know what we haven't done? I'm going to stir this real fast. Yeah, sorry, I got into that. I'm gonna stir that. Okay, this was supposed to be four minutes. It was optional to stir it again after four minutes. I think it's been longer. Mm, it actually smells pretty good. It's been longer than four minutes. And then I'm supposed to leave it here for like nine minutes. So I think we're already like more than halfway there. I'm going to stir it now. We're going to let it uh, sit a little bit longer. 
and then I'm going to eat it and tell you guys uh, what it tastes like. Let me turn that around so you guys can. A reminder, it's noodles and chicken. It's kind of like a, I'll show it to you, but it looks like a really thick chicken noodle soup, like thick, even though I did add the two cups of water. So it looks like it's going to have some, some oomph to it, some like connect to your belly and make you feel full. Hmm. But we'll see. So leave this closed for just a little bit longer because I'm pretty sure we're close to the eight to nine minutes. And uh, yeah, and then we'll eat that. I'll eat it for you. Okay, while we're waiting, we can clean this up and tie bows in this. I'm gonna move you around. Oh, no, we're good. So this compass that is supposed to be like safety and pre prepper, you know, tools, in my opinion, if you disagree, you can let me know. This is a POS. And again, you can see these where they're like, it's a free thing, just pay shipping and handling or whatever. Blech. This pen, a tactical pen, whatever, if, if you guys disagree with me, but I don't understand. Ow, ow. I don't understand how this is supposed to work. Maybe I didn't read the instructions. Yeah, whatever. And, and how this is actually supposed to be good for basically anything. These little cards. Again, if, if you like them, that's that's you. I just, I haven't found one, anybody that likes them, or two, I haven't found a use for this. You with me? Would it actually work? Yes? How am I going to do that? No. And then finally, this whistle. Emergency whistle. This cheap little aluminum. No. This stuff's going in the garbage. This actually worked. We'll see how long it lasts. The emergency blanket, anything is better than nothing, but I can tell you how thin that is just by, I'm here, you guys probably can't. And uh, the kit that it came in, again, I got it free for ordering something else. I don't know how long this little box is going to last, but we'll see. Yes? All right, so I cleaned up my mess. Uh, I threw those things. I actually threw them in the garbage over there. Uh, the little kit, I put the stuff back in it, and I have, like, there's like a little milk crate, I guess, that I have that I do road trips with. It doesn't matter that I throw extra stuff in. And so I'll find some place where I'm actually going to use that ferro rod. And I'll keep the emergency blanket around just in case because, again, anything is better than nothing. And it is reflective. I just don't think it's going to last at all. But, you know, anything that can be used is better than nothing and shouldn't be thrown away. Uh, getting into waste. Yes, I try not to waste things. But I'm not going to keep stuff around that's just dangerous like the things I just threw away yeah okay we're gonna try to I'm gonna cut out and when I come back we're gonna eat this and then we're gonna tie a bow and all this stuff yes all right all right I don't know about you guys but I'm hungry and I actually am it's lunchtime so let's see what we have here hmm. I do like the way it smells again uh, disclaimer first off everything's my opinion but I've, I've mentioned it before I've mentioned in the other videos where I've eaten stuff is I've eaten terrible things, yes, and smiled about it. So I'm going to do this taste test, but I recommend you guys do it. Okie dokie. And again, this is getting into camper food. People can have this for emergencies, you know, like if there's something for like a day or two or a week. But if you can see the size of these, and don't get me wrong, I love Mountain House. But each one of these would be like a meal, and eventually they're going to stack up in size for long term. If you've got the storage space to do it, and they are a little expensive, however, in my opinion, right now, and they're getting more expensive, they're worth it. Yes? All right, so taste test. Can you guys see it? Did I I'll show you guys? I don't know if you guys can see what that looks like. Noodles, and there's little pieces of chicken, and some veggies, not a lot, but. And I do like the fact that I can eat them right out of the container. Hmm. Yeah, I like it, guys. Like I said, it's like a thick uh, chicken noodle soup. Hmm. And it's supposed to be two and a half servings. Now, I'm just going to eat this. This is my lunch. Yes? But, again, I haven't had any mm, Mountain House stuff that's been bad. Even the stuff I've eaten with cold water, not warm, but I mentioned warm meals. Warm meals are awesome. Uh, I've never found anything bad 
If you've had a different experience, let me know to keep me safe. You know, sharing information like, oh, I had this one and it was terrible. So you can let me know. But uh, as soon as I cut this, I'm going to go eat this for lunch. Yes? All right, guys. I was going to put you up there and I decided not to. We'll just finish this off here. I promised you, I, to I told you I was going to do uh, another taste test on camper food, emergency food. And again, we're going to less emergency, more camping, and then eventually some long-term stuff uh, that can be used a little bit easier, according to some people. So I owed you that. And this one right here, and I like it. A little opinion on the other ones. Uh, also, while we were here, I showed you that kit and how people are ripping people off. They're, I think, uh, the fear sells. And I don't want you guys, if I, if I find something, I'll let you guys know, which I just did. And, and hopefully you agree. Again, if you disagree with any of the conclusions I came to, my opinion, guys, if you uh, disagree, you can let me know. Otherwise, I hope you guys stay away from those things. Um, if you can get them super cheap and you're not sure, you know, you can get something, you test it out yourself. I've got a few other things I'm going to run you guys through when I get a chance that I've come across. Some are good, some are bad. And uh, the whole point is because, and I mentioned it on my videos, finances when it comes to preparedness, not prepping. But uh, when it comes to preparedness, finances, and I don't want to see anybody wasting their money on things that are supposed to be helpful, especially in a contingency or an emergency, and they are pieces of poo. Yes, I hope you guys can agree on that. Okay, until next time. I hope you are happy. I hope you stay positive. And with everything that's going on, I hope you're being prepared. Yes? Yes.